Hello, girls and boys. This is Mrs. Nantambu. Thanks for coming back today. Today, we're going to work on a fun math lesson dealing with comparing numbers using symbols. The standard is NBT3. Compare two digit numbers based on the meaning of the tens and the ones digits using the symbols greater than, less than, and equal to. What are we learning? Let's use our I can statement. I can compare two digit numbers using greater than, less than, and equal to. If you have a partner that's available, turn and talk to that partner and tell them what we're learning in your own words. Good job. In order to be successful with this, we need to review the vocabulary words that we need to be able to define. Number one is a two digit number. A two-digit number is a number composed of tens and ones. Compare is telling how something is alike. Tens, a bundle of ten ones makes one ten. So 20 ones would make how many tens? That's right, two tens. Ones are individual units. You have nine individual units before you make a ten. So zero through nine is used to record ones. Once you get to that 10th individual unit, you have a 10. Digit are numerals from 0 to 9. Greater than is a symbol that means more than or bigger than. 1 is bigger than 0. Less than is a symbol that means one number is smaller than another number. 12 is smaller than 13. So those are the vocabulary words that we are going to be using today as we talk talk about this lesson. What are we learning again? I can compare two digit numbers, which is a number with some tens and some ones, using greater than, less than, equal to as symbols. There is a know, there is a show, and there is a how that goes along with this lesson. What must we know? What, 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 am I, what do I have to be familiar with to be able to be really successful with this lesson. Well, I need to know what compare means. I need to know what two digit numbers mean. I need to know how to use greater than, less than, and equal to in equations. How will I show this? I will answer questions using greater than, less than, and equal to as the answers. How? We will have guided practice and independent practice. That's our know, our show, and our how. Real world connection. Why is it important to be able to compare two digit numbers using greater than, less than, and equal to? Talk to a partner or just think about it. This is going to be very important when you get to second grade and beyond because then you're going to start working with whole numbers and decimals and you get to be able to determine which number is bigger by being able to read the tens, the ones, and in, third, in second grade, I'm sure you'll start going to three digits with hundreds, but you have to know which number is bigger. Warm up. Before we actually get into the actual lesson, let's have a little quick warm up to kind of loosen up. We're going to do an activity called Skip Counting by Twos. I will start counting by twos, and when I stop, I want you to say the next number. What would the next number be? We're going to practice before we actually do it. All right. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Good job. Let's try another one. 18, 20, 22. What's next? 24. Good job. Now let's try something that's a little bit hard. Let's try some bigger numbers. 38, 40, 42. What's next? 43. 43. Is 43 next? No, you're right, boys and girls. I was trying to trick you. It's 44. Let's try another one. 50, 52, 54, 56, 58. What will come next? 60. 
All right, the last one, 96, 98, what will come next? Let me give you a hint. It's not a two-digit number this time. Even though we skip counting by two, the answer is not a two-digit number. On the count of three, let's yell it out. One, two, three. One hundred. Good job. You are so smart. Give yourself a high five. All right, we're learning. I can compare two digit numbers using greater than, less than, and equal to as symbols. That's what we're learning. We know the two digit numbers are composed of what, boys and girls? Some what? Some tens and some what? And some ones. In order to compare these numbers, we must identify the tens and the ones in each number. Why? That's the way you compare. You have to tell which number is bigger in the tens place. For example, let's look at this, 24 and 31. And the number 24, how many tens do we have? Two. And the number 31, how many tens do we have? Three. So which one is bigger, having two tens, which will be 10, 20, or having three tens, which will be 10, 20, 30? So the equation will be 24 is what? Greater than, less than, or equal to 31. We got two tens versus three tens. So 24 is what? Less than 31. Good job. You're so smart. Let's look at 35 and 40. How many tens are in 35? Look at that number. How many tens are in 35? Hmm, I'm thinking three tens because there are five ones. How many tens are in 40? Four tens and zero ones. Well, which number is bigger, three tens or four tens? Okay, so when we write the equation 35, we're going to say it's less than 40 because three tens is what? Three tens is smaller than four tens. Fifty-three and sixteen. How many tens are in 53? Five. Good job. How many tens are in 16? One ten. So which number is bigger? Five tens or one ten? So this time it will be 53 is what? Greater than, less than, or equal to 16. Greater than because five tens is always bigger than one ten. 53 is greater than 16. What if I turn it around and say 16 blank 53? Would it still be greater? It says 16 is smaller. It would say what? 16 is less than 53. If you were confused or having problems identifying your tens and ones, let's go back to an old strategy we used before. First of all, look at this number. Say the number. The number is what? 28. Draw a line between the 2 and the 8. And that's going to separate our tens from our ones. Our tens are always in the front of our number. And our ones are always at the end of our number. So over the 8, we're going to write an O for ones. And then when we get to the 2, we're going to write a T for tens. So in the number 28, we have two tens and eight ones. Remember, you can always draw a line between your two digits. You start at the back, you put your O for your ones and your T for your tens in the front. Look at this number. Say the number. That's right, 56. So we're going to write 56 down. We're going to draw a line between the 5 and the 6. They're separating the 10s from the 1s. So we have 6 1s and we have 5 10s. Good job. All right, got it, practice. All right, we're going to do these together. All right, we're looking at 17 and we're looking at 21. If we're looking at the number in tens place, we see one ten and we see two tens. So, you know, the one ten is smaller than two tens. So 17 is going to be what? I want you to write that down. Greater than, less than, or equal to. What do you think? All right, look at the next one. 28 and 29. 
We're looking at our tens. We have two tens in 28 and two tens in 29. So we can't use the rule of looking at tens this time. This time we got to go to what place? One's place. Which number is bigger, eight or nine? So is 28 greater than, less than, or equal to 29? Remember, this time we need to look in one's place. Look at number three, 14 and 11. We have one 10 and 14 and one 10 and 11. So we can't look at the 10s, but we're going to look in what place? We're going to look in one's place. Write your sign, greater than, less than, or equal to. What do you think? Number four, 38. Greater than or less than 40. We're looking at three tens versus four tens. We know three tens is smaller. Number five, 33, greater than, less than, or equal to 12. Don't forget to compare your tens. Number six, 28, greater than, less than, or equal to 38. And number seven, 40, greater than, less than, or equal to 50. Thinking about that one. Number eight, 11, greater than or equal to 10. Number nine, 20 and 20. We got two tens and zero ones in the number 20. And number 10, 100 and 100. Okay, let's check our answers. So the first one, 17 is what? Less than 21. 28 is what? Less than 29. 14 is greater than 11. 38 is less than 40. 33 is greater than 12. And if we're looking at number one, and you again, you can look at the tens and number one. But when you get to number two, since it's the same amount of tens, you have to look in what place? You have to go in one's place. The same thing is true for number three. You have one in tens place in both numbers. So you have to go to the one's place to determine which number is greater. Number six, 28 and 38. This one, you can look at the 10. So 28 is what? Less than 38. Number seven, 40 is less than 50 because four tens will be less than five tens. Number eight, 11. You got one 10 and 11 and one 10 and 10. But when you look in the ones place, one one is bigger than zero one. So 11 is greater than 10. Number nine, 20 equals 20. It's the same number on both sides. That's a good rule. If you have the same number on both sides, it's always equal to. So 100 is what? Equal to 100. Let's look at some word problems. Ted has 16 toy cars. Jed has 19 toy cars. Who has more? We have 16 blank 19. We use our old strategy of comparing our one, our tens first. We have the same amount, so then we have to go to our ones. So we know the six ones is smaller than nine ones, so 16 is less than 19. Jed lost three of his cars. Who has more? Okay, Ted still has 16 cars. He didn't lose any. He didn't get any more. He still has 16. But Jed lost three of his cars. He no longer has 19. So how many cars does he have now? Well, we can start at 19 and count backwards until we get 16. 18, 17, 16. That's three. So now we have 16 is greater than, less than, or equal to 16. Remember, if you have the same number on both sides, the answer is always what? Good job. It's always what? Equal to. Oh, you such smart boys and girls. My goodness. All right, let's look at a couple of more word problems. I'm going to read the word problems and then I, um, we're going to answer them together. Pat has 22 dogs. Pam has 20 dogs. Who has more? We got a 22 and we got a 20. And the first thing we notice is what? That's right. We know that we got the same number in tens place. So what does that mean we have to do? That means we have to go and look at what place? What place? Where do we go? Where do we go? We go to ones place. Two ones is what? 
bigger or greater than zero one. So we know that 22 is what? Greater than 20. Give yourself a high five. Let's go to the next one. Tim has 30 boats. Jim has 31 boats. Who has less or fewer boats? You got 30, you got 31. Again, if we're looking at our tens, and it's the same number in the tens place, we have to go to what? We have to go to one place. So automatically we know what? 30 is what? Say it a little loud. 30 is less than 31. So zero ones is smaller than one one. And the next one says J has 27 jump ropes and K has 37 jump ropes. Who has less? Now, if you look at this number, don't get confused and look at the sevens and say it's the same because that's in the ones place. Even though the sevens are the same, we still always start in tens place. So we got two tens and 27. You got three tens and 37. So we know the two tens is fewer or smaller than three tens. So it's going to be 27 is what? Tell me. 27 is less than 37. Excellent. Excellent. All right. This is independent practice. I want you to write these down. 11 blank 11. Twenty six blank thirty five, thirty nine blank thirty eight, forty seven blank forty nine, forty nine blank forty seven. Now I want you to do these later on with mom or dad so that when you get your answers, they can check your answers and make sure they're right. Let's look at this very last word problem. Mr. Hill had twenty nine computers, Mrs. Hill had thirty computers. The equation that goes with this is 29 blank 30. Looking at our tens, we got two tens and we got three tens. It's two smaller than three. Well, yes, it is. So 29 is what? Less than or smaller than 30. If we flip the numbers, the numbers didn't change, but the position or the location of the numbers change. So now we have 30 in front and we have 29 behind. Are we still going to have a less than sign? Because we're looking at three tens this time versus two tens. Three tens is what? Bigger or greater than two tens. So if we're looking at that, we know that 30 is what? Greater than 29. Good job, boys and girls. You've done an excellent, excellent job. I'm so proud of you.